Thank you for your introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Joe Park, PhD candidate of Professor Jeong Kim Kim Mislap at Seoul National University. Before starting presentation, I'd like to say it's a great honor for me to share my recent research at KSMCB. Thank you for organizers and viewers. Today, I'm going to talk about the relationship between adipose, adipose tissue immune cells, specifically INKT cells, and uh, adipose tissue remodeling in obesity. The title is Activation of INKT Cells Stimulates Adipose Tissue Remodeling in Obesity. Let me briefly introduce what INKT cell is. INKT cells is a uh, uh, kind of immune cells and is activated by lipid antigens. Unlike other types of conventional T cells that are activated by peptide, INKT cells are activated by lipid antigens, which enables INKT cells to quickly respond to changes of lipid environment. After activated, INKT cells secrete TH1 or TH2 type cytokines, and they also exert cytotoxic effects against damaged cells, such as cancer and t -rex cells. This is a cartoon to summarize our group's previous findings about the relationship between INKT cells and adipocytes. We found that adipocyte is a novel antigen-presenting present, antigen cell type expressing CD1D. We also found that lipid antigens of adipocyte activate INKT cells, and activated INKT cells secrete TH2 type cytokines such as IL4 and IL10. In case of deficiency of INKT cells or depletion of adipocyte CD1D, aggravates obesity-induced metabolic dysfunction. In obesity, unhealthy adipose tissue remodeling occurs which is accompanied by many types of pro-inflammatory immune cells such as M1 macrophage, neutroph neutrophil are abundantly accumulated. And also unhealthy adipocytes are frequently observed in unhealthy adipose tissue in obesity. Meanwhile, in obesity, if, if INKT cells are deficient, unhealthy adipose tissue remodeling processes is promoted, whereas Activation or supplementation of INKT cells restore adipose tissue homeostasis. However, there are a few evidence about the mechanisms by which INKT cells regulate adipose tissue homeostasis and suppress unhealthy adipose tissue remodeling in obesity. So my main question is how do INKT cells suppress unhealthy adipose tissue remodeling in obesity? Given that INKT cells has been known to kill some kinds of damaged cells such as cancer cells, B cells, and dysregulated T rex cells, we hypothesized that INKT cells would kill hypertrophic and unhealthy adipocytes in obesity to maintain adipose tissue homeostasis. To test whether INKT cells are involved in adipocyte deaths in obesity, firstly, uh, we investigated whether INKT, cell, INKT cells localized around dead adipocytes. Paralympian negative adipocytes are considered to be dead adipocytes compared to live adipocytes that express paralympian 1. As you can see, INKT cells, the yellow color, were, uh, free, uh, were abundantly found around paralympian negative and dead adipocytes. Next, we examine the portion of fast ligand positive INKT cells because fast ligand is a well known cytotoxic indicator of T cells. As you can see in panel A, the portion of fast ligand positive INKT cells was, uh, was significantly increased during high fat diet condition compared to normal chow diet condition. As a binding partner, as a binding partner for fast ligand, we also investigated the level of fast receptor in adipocytes. Compared to small adipocyte fraction, the portion of fast positive adipocyte was higher in large adipocyte condition in both normal child diet and high fat diet condition. This, this pattern was positively correlated with the death ratio of adipocyte. These old data suggest that fast ligand of adipose INKT cells might kill fast positive adipocytes. To reveal the detailed mechanisms by which INKT cell induce adipocyte death, we used in vitro co-culture system. To activate INKT cells, we used uh, alpha galactose ceramide, which is a specific lipid antigen for INKT cell activation. 
After pretreatments are published into differentiated mature adipocyte, we added the enteric point D3 thirst, which is a INKTCL hybrid muscle line. As you can see in panel B, activated INKT cells by alpha GC kill adipocytes. However, in case of suppression of CD1D and FAS receptor in adipocytes, the portion of dead adipocytes were, were diminished, such as indicating that CD1D and FAS receptor are crucial components in INKT cell induced adipocyte death. To examine the physiological roles of INKT cell induced adipocyte deaths, we injected alpha GC into eight weeks hyphetide fed obese mice. And then we analyzed adipo tissue one day after alpha GC injection. Compared to vehicle group, the number of dead adipocytes was remarkably increased by alpha GC injection. However, the effect of alpha GC uh, on adipocyte deaths was not observed in INKT cell deficient mice that are JRP18 knockout mice, suggesting that alpha GC effect on adipocyte death is dependent on INKT cells. After we found these data, we were curious about after INKT cell induced adipocyte death, what happens in adipo tissue? Does this area remain empty or new adipocytes are generated to fill up the space? To answer this question, it's important to reveal the detailed mechanisms between INKT cells and adipo tissue remodeling. To find a clue that answers this question, we analyzed adipo tissue one week after apogee injection. When we analyzed adipo tissue one week after apogee injection, we found a small, small adipocytes. But at the time, we did not know whether these small, small adipocytes are generated or derived from a pre-existing mature adipocyte. To distinguish origin of small adipocytes, whether they are from adipocyte progenitors or mature pre-existing adipocytes, we used adipocyte lineage tracing mouse model, where mature adipocytes are labeled with YFP by doxycycline-dependent manner. In other words, YFP positive adipocyte is old adipocyte, and YFP negative adipocyte is new adipocyte. Mutual adipocytes were successfully stained with YFP. In alpha GC injection group, uh, YFP negative and peripen positive adipocytes are generated. This data means the small and new adipocyte, uh, the small adipocyte after INKT cell induced adipocyte death and least partly are derived from adipogenesis. This is a summary of today's my presentation. Excess nutrients make adipocyte hypertrophic and pro-inflammatory, and which activates uh, adipose INKT cells. Next, activated, activated INKT cells express phospholigan and kill phosphate-positive hypertrophic adipocytes. After adipocyte death, new adipocytes are generated. Due to the time limitation, I could not present the rules of new adipocytes, uh, actually, new adipocytes are better at insulin-dependent glucose uptake ability compared to hypertrophic and pro-inflammatory adipocytes. Contribute this, uh, this means new adipocytes contribute to the regulation of glucose homeostasis in obesity. Uh, this study has been performed under my supervisor, Professor Jeon Kim. I really appreciate Professor Jeon Kim for supervising and advising me. And also, I also thank you for Professor Jiang Park and Jiang O oh from UNIS. They kindly provided us uh, adipocyte lineage chaser mice model. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.